Are you ready to go in? Ready as I'll ever be. We'll have to look for Drakestone deposits along the sides. This looks like a Drakestone deposit. I need a scraping from the deepest part. There should be more further in. be more further in. be more further in. should be more further in. All 
assets. I don't like the looks of this. That should be enough. Thank you. I wouldn't have asked just anyone to venture in there for me. There is one more thing, but we must discuss it privately.
There is one more thing I need of you, my love. And I can't tell you why. I must get inside the Chantry, without being seen. Will you talk to the Grand Cleric for me? Distract her long enough for me to do what must be done. Tell me your plan. You would not thank me if I told you. If you support freedom for mages, help me. That's all I can say. I won't desert you now. I do not deserve your love. I promise, whatever happens, it's on my head. It will not come back on you. Go to the Chantry. Talk to the Grand Cleric. I will join you when I'm done. I'll find you as soon as I'm done. Thank you. The, the first enchanter overstepped Blessed the bounds. He was provoked. Maker's Blessing, Champion. Have you come to pray?
have you thought about which side you'll take? Between the mages and Templars? It's no secret that you count apostates among your friends, Champion. You have done much to fan the flames of rebellion here. We must give Meredith and Orsino time to work out their differences. No good can come of showing favor to one side. The Maker created mages. Why doesn't he protect them? I feel for the mages, I do. I would not wish to be locked in the gallows. But I cannot take sides. We are all the Maker's creatures, but magic allows abuses beyond the scope of mortals. I only hope I can balance the needs of everyone. For if it comes to war, it is the people of this city who will lose. There you are. I've been looking for you all over. Your Grace? Your soul is troubled, child. I hope you found a balm for it here. I wanted you to have this. What's that? A pillow? Hand embroidered by my mother. The only thing of hers they let me keep when I went to the circle. Why in the name of Andraste would you give that to me? You've been a good friend, Varric. Uh-uh. You keep your pillow, Blondie. And may you have many more dreams of killing Templars on it. Hawk, I didn't expect you here. I want to tell you now. I love you. You've stood by me when I gave you every reason to turn away. Just remember, whatever happens, I wanted you to know that. Why are you talking like this? He'll still be here, you know. Justice. Long after you and I are gone. It doesn't mean the same thing to a spirit. He'll just go back to the Fade. I love you, Anders. You were the most important thing in my life. But some things matter more than my life. More than either of us. I'm sorry. You're wrong. There is nothing more important than love. I told you I would break your heart. Just know it breaks mine to do it. I was hoping we'd find a better way, but... Justice and vengeance are too intertwined. I can't tell one from the other. You were the one shining light in my life. Never blame yourself for what will happen.
You've had luck on your travels? If you need me for anything, I always let me know. These patients need me more than anyone in Hightown. Your support has meant the world to me. Have you located any Canari blades? This is what I found. If you find more, bring them to me. Take a look at this. A blade of mercy? I remember these. You see them in the Imperium. Replicas of the sword Archon Hasarian used to kill Andraste. This one looks finely crafted. I thought it might be worth something. It is. Here, let me show you. These are gifts of honor, given to those who have performed a service for the Imperium. Daenerys coveted them, as I recall. I'd like you to have it. For me? Yes. I think I'd like that. I'll think of the irony as I wield it. Thank you, Hawk. Last bottle of the Egregio. I've been saving it for a special occasion. And what's that? The anniversary of my escape. Astia Vala Fermundis. Care to hear the story? I'd like that. Let's see. You've heard of Saharan? The Imperium and the Kunari have fought over the island for centuries now. I was there with Daenerys during a Canari attack. I managed to get him to a ship, but there was no room for a slave. I was left behind. I barely got out of the city alive. 
I thought Daenerys considered you valuable. <laughs> he wasn't given a choice. The look on his face as the ship pulled out was priceless. There are rebels in the Saharan jungles called Fog Warriors. They found me and took me in, nursed me back to health. I stayed with them for a time, until Daenerys finally came for me. Were you with these Fog Warriors willingly? I'd grown fond of the rebels. They bowed to no master and fought for their freedom. It was beyond my experience. When Daenerys came, they refused to let him take me. He ordered me to kill them. So I did. I... killed them all. Why would you do such a thing? It felt inevitable. My master had returned and this... this fantasy life was over. But once it was done... I looked down at their bodies. I felt... I couldn't. I ran. And never looked back. How well did you know these Fog Warriors? I knew them only a few months, but in that time, I felt as if I truly lived. They were bold, strong, free with their affections. I was in awe of them, and owed them everything. And I turned on them even so. This can't be easy to talk about. I've never spoken about what happened to anyone. I've never wanted to. Perhaps this is what it means to have a friend. Perhaps you're right. To you, Hawk. May I fight at your side for years to come. <laughs>